Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post today is by Treat JOA, titled Free Pizza Monday. Anyone else here disappointed that Planet Fitness serves Papa John's Pizza for their free pizza Monday? I've been a member since they opened, and there are signs posted about the free pizza that I see every time I exercise. The problem is that the pizzas that they are serving is the worst pizza in the world. That is so wrong. From the front desk and the entire parking lot of Planet Fitness, you can see the Carbones Pizza building and sign. Carbones makes delicious pizza. I find it outrageous that Planet Fitness refuses to support the neighbor pizza establishment that makes fantastic pizza and instead buys pizza from the worst place in the world, which happens to be miles away. Oh, at least you get free pizza on Mondays at Planet Fitness. See, that's a thing they don't have to do. Where they choose to get the pizza from is their prerogative. You don't have to eat the free pizza if you don't like it. This next one is by Ude Lolly Golly, titled, Great, thank you, I will put you down. Hi, are you available to work overnight Monday? Did someone call out or can I work a split shift? 3 to 7? No, 11 to 7. I can't work the full shift. I'm sorry. Great, thank you. I will put you down. What? I can't work. I'm assuming this is some miscommunication going on here. However, I would not put it past whoever's sending the OP this to just go ahead and assume, all right, you can work anyway. This next one is by Cranial Bone, titled, They said they'd help me for a few hours, free, but left after 90 minutes. Am I the asshole for holding a girl up to her promise? A girl promised me a few hours, multiple hours, help on a project that was very important to me, which she knew about, but I only got about one and a half hours help. Who's in the wrong here? I'm a guy. This project was not physically demanding to let you know. It's a personal project. Not a school or work project, but it was extremely important to me and she knew it. This project was super important to me and can only be done using her help. She promised multiple hours. Her words were a few hours and said she had plenty of time to give. When I mentioned my whole evening being free, she didn't say anything. We started at 5 p.m. but only after an hour and a half, really 30 minutes of the really important stuff that needed to be done. She declared she had to meet some people, which she didn't mention at all before, and rushed out the door. When I brought it up later via email to her as politely and respectfully as possible, even suggesting a follow-up session to make up for the time difference whenever she was free, she got super pissed off at me, saying how ungrateful I am, but she gave other people two and a half to three hours help, all free. She was giving out help because she felt it was a good deed and she knew how desperately I and other people needed it. I feel like I was wronged because I didn't get the full amount of time I was promised and I asked my friends and people I knew and they all agree a few hours means at least three or more but she's saying because it was free I should just accept the time she gave me but she also gave other people far more time. Also if I knew how little time I was gonna get I would have done things differently to maximize the amount of work done and what I wanted to get done. The bottom line is, is she didn't have to give you any time at all. She chose to give you some time. Apparently, the time that she gave you, she felt was enough. You can't force somebody to be around you. You can't force somebody to give you time. If you want extra time, maybe ask if it's a tutoring thing or whatever to help you with a project. She can get paid for her time. This next one is by Rider of the Storm, titled, Even Dogs Have Standards That Must Be Met. If anyone goes to Walmart right now, there is a lady standing on the corner of Burger King with her dog. She's holding a sign that she needs puppy food. Well, if you guys want to give her food, it has to be puppy food, because she will reject it if it is anything else. <laughs> I bought her a bag of dog food and a couple of wet dog food cans and she rejected them. She did the same to a lady after me. So guys, make sure it's puppy food. 
Have a nice day. Update. She specifically wants pedigree puppy, according to someone else. Well, you know that lovely saying, beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. This lady needs to feed her dog some shit. Corny, I know. This next one is by Rough Paintbrush, titled, Despite being a multi-millionaire, Antonio Brown thinks he can get free moving service because he is a celebrity. The court documents obtained by TMZ state that the moving company was hired by Brown to deliver belongings the receiver had stored in California to his home in Hollywood, Florida. Brown, 31, allegedly refused to pay the $4,000 fee, which initially led the driver to attempt to leave with the property in his truck. The driver said that is when, according to court documents, Brown threw the rock, denting and causing paint damage to the driver's side of the vehicle. The driver then called police to report the damage. And that just goes to show you that we have choosing beggars in all walks of life, and even celebrities are not above being choosing beggars. You hire somebody to move your stuff, you pay them their fee. This next one is by Unicornicopius, titled, Rapper Needs A Lot Of Weed For Free. Medicinal, of course. Attention! I need a main weed sponsor that can provide me with gas and in return, I'd only post y'all and I tag you every week, every time I smoke on Instagram, as well as my other social media platforms. I smoke medicinally and very often. Need flour, not pre-rolls. DM me if you're interested in doing a sponsor deal with me. Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of other people are in that same boat, in that same position, would love to do what you're requesting. However, I highly doubt many people are really getting sponsored and getting free weed. This next one is by The Petty Patamelon, titled, Woman Wants Kitten for Son's Birthday. We work 12 hours a day, 6 days a week. That's why we said that Sunday is the only day that would work. Well, I already have plans for Kai Party. I am not changing it for a cat. Sorry. Have 50 people coming to my party. That's fine. We'll find another home for them. Thanks for the interest and have a good evening. Sure thing. That's thinner. Fine. Well, you aren't very accommodating. You are one ignorant Krasanky bitch. Well, that's a way to get your cat, and just because you had plans for the party doesn't mean that that cat falls into the plans. Be respectful if you'd like to get something in return. If you can't be respectful, then you get nothing. This next one is by I Am Unintelligible, titled, I Take a Picture of My Boobies or a Voice Message for Your iPhone. Babe, wanna see my tits? You have an Apple iPhone, right? No, I have Android. Well, I have an iPhone, but I don't have a SIM card in it. Hey babe, if I take a picture of my boobies, would you let me have the iPhone? What? I take a picture of my boobies, would you let me have your iPhone or do a voice message? No, no, I wasn't asking you to clarify. I was just stunned at the audacity you have to suggest I give you a $400 phone for a picture of your boobs when I could go on some porn site for free. Or a voice message? <laughs> <laughs> I have an old Galaxy S4 you can have if you really need a phone. It's slow, but it does the job. I just need to wipe it. But did you really just try whoring out a picture of boobs to me for an iPhone? Like, that unironically just happened? No, you still get the boobs, babe. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I've got nothing. Pretty speechless here. <laughs> I don't know how you think that was appropriate to ask, why you think I would have actually gone for that deal, and how it makes you look. I don't find it funny. I find it embarrassingly distasteful, and I think we should stop talking at this point. It's been nice speaking with you. Sorry. No, babe. I mean, thanks for the apology, I guess, but that doesn't really change anything. And I've asked you not to call me babe in the past, as we've never even met. So, like I said, it's been nice speaking with you. Can we be friends? That's what we were. Can stay friends, please? We hang out. Be right back. No. No, we can't be friends? Correct. We tried the friend thing, and I'm not cool with what just happened. 
I have a feeling this beggar's self-esteem is very, very low, or their own self-worth, however they see themselves, I don't know, it's definitely not up there when they want to trade pictures of boobs or a voice message for a phone. And our final post today is by Spuds McKenzie, titled, Choosing Beggar Server Keeps Pushing Until She Loses, complete with stereotypical, It's for my kids! Hey, I saw on Facebook you're looking for shifts this weekend. You want my Saturday at 3? My girl wants to have a date night. Oh my god, yes! Thank you so much! No problem. Make your money, girl. Can you pay me $30 to work your shift? I'm helping you out so you can have a date night. Excuse me? I saw Lauren was offering $20 to work her shift last week, and this is a Saturday, so I think $30 is fair. Is there any way you can drop it off to me tonight? Yeah, she offered $20 because she asked for coverage at 8am for an 11am shift. My shift is in 4 days, and I can't stress this enough, you're the one asking for shifts. These two scenarios are not the same thing. Come on, don't be a dick. You know I have kids. Can you please drop it off tonight? You're high if you think I'm paying you $30 to work my shift. <laughs> I'll Venmo you $15 to help you out, but that's it. $15? Dude, I'm struggling over here. My kids are hungry. My gas is going to get shut off. Please drop off $30 and I'll work for you. I really need it. I'm doing you a favor by working for you. I'm sorry, but we're seeing this differently. You posted asking for shifts because they aren't scheduling you. I saw that and offered up my Saturday. We are each getting something out of this already. If you're demanding $30, I'd rather just work than pay that. I'll still Venmo you $15, which I believe is more than generous considering the circumstances. Why are you being like this? Like, seriously, you're being such an asshole. I told you I really need it for my kids. Can you please drop it off tonight so I can buy them food? I need money, not Venmo. To be honest, I'm getting very tired of going in circles here. I'm not paying you $30. I'm not driving across town to bring you cash, and I don't believe it's necessary, but my offer to Venmo you still stands if you decide to work for me. Are you taking this shift or not? Fuck you, dude. Why can't you just drop it off? It's not that far. My kids are hungry. You're really going to make my kids go to sleep hungry? Fuck me? Maybe if you weren't buying pills from David after every shift, you'd have money to feed your kids. I just showed my girlfriend these texts. She gave me the go-ahead to work this weekend and will go out on Tuesday, so I no longer need coverage. What the fuck? Fuck your girlfriend, that ass bitch. She's taking food out of my kids' mouths. We're done. Goodbye. Can you still Venmo me? <laughs> I do find it ironic that this person is asking for help to get shifts and then they have the audacity to ask people to pay them to work their shift that she was asking for when she's going to go and work and make money and get paid on top of that. If you can't get any more choosy than that, I don't know how much choosier you can get. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell. Drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and have a great day.